Welcome to day four of the Bliss Kiss Gold Standard Challenge. Okay, today we are going to be talking about water and why it is a necessary evil, a necessary enemy to our nails. So especially when you're dealing with pandemics like we are in the year 2020 or even into the future with all of the virus season, you know, it happens every year. So how do we stay healthy? but also have long, gorgeous nails. Starts with healthy hand washing. And I'm gonna show you a video on how to wash your hands appropriately. The year 2020 has taught us a lot in terms of how well we wash our hands and what's really the appropriate way and what is the safest way to keep us healthy. Hey everyone, it's Anna. And Corey. And we are the owners of Bliss Kiss, and we are going to be talking today about proper hand washing. And we were inspired by Alton, Alton Brown, Brown, Chef Alton Brown. And we thought this is a great opportunity for us to talk about hand washing in fives. Five, one, two, three, four, five. We've got five fingers. We use the Fab Five polish wrap to protect our nails from water absorption and the dangers that come with that. Well, guess what? During virus season, we have to wash our hands a lot and that strips the oil from our nails and our hands. So we've learned a couple of things. Hands have five sides. Yes, does that sound weird? Okay. We're gonna show you. Yes, well, he's gonna show you. And, and do not want paint under my nails, we have decided. <laughs> so, uh, the big forget, thing- Forget using gloves. I'm just gonna do it on and my he's hands. He's just gonna go for it. All right, let's go. Get your hands wet. Put on your soap. We're going to demonstrate with paint. I'm going to use lots of it just to make sure I have plenty. Okay, first you lather up one side. Okay, lots this is of good side lathering. number one. Count the five each time. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Fingertips, three, four, five. Other fingertips, two, three, four, five. Between down in your, in there really good, five. Then make sure thumbs get missed easily. One, two, Three, four, five. Probably should do that too. One, two, three, four, five. Thank now, you everything. how'd you do? I think I did pretty good. Excellent. And now he's going to try and wash this all off. Okay, then you rinse and get paint all over the black sink. White paint is lovely. Since you've washed your body oils away with soap, it's time to apply oils that will make your hands feel so much better. Apply Simply Pure Hydrating Oil on and around your nails. Then apply Simply Sealed Lotion Stick or Simply Kissed Body Balm to your skin for immediate soothing to the parched feeling of your squeaky clean hands. Remember, a little goes a long way. So now you've learned how to properly wash your hands. And isn't it so much easier when you count in fives? It's so much easier than trying to sing happy birthday twice. There you go. Okay, after you wash your hands, you've done a great job. Well, guess what? It's taken all of the oil and stripped that out of your nails and your skin. And so the body gave us the right answer. We need to have body oil. So since we've washed it away, let's put some back and you want to put oil all around your nails and then make sure that you put either our lotion stick or your body balm on and that helps give you a water resistant barrier and your skin will thank you. It will thank you so much. It will feel so much better. Also, you'll see in this photograph, we've got our travel kit. I love our travel kit because it has a mini lotion stick, a lip balm, our oil, and, um, and our nail file. So you have everything with you in your backpack or your purse or your computer bag. So you definitely want to keep your travel kit with you at all times. 
So let's revisit why water is so dangerous to your nails. And even though we have to wash our hands, it's still really damaging. So when we look at this picture, remember that photograph and your nails absorb one third their weight in water. Okay, and they can do it in as little as 60 seconds when your nails are naked. And these holes, so our, we wanna think that our nails are solid, but they're really not. There are all kinds of little cells that are stacked and nested together. And so there's all of these little microscopic holes and water is so small that it gets in between all of the cells, but then it also actually can penetrate through the cells. So all of the little microscopic holes that are in a cell, it will transfer through those as well. So you definitely with this photograph, you can see again, I have a really strong C curve, but when your nails soak up the, the water, then they soften and they flatten and they get very, very weak and they are easily torn because they're overly flexible. Remember when I showed you before, always think of your nail layers like the layers of a, or the pages in a book. And when that book gets wet, all of those, no matter how much you try and press them back while it's drying, it just won't work. And so it's just a pure, easy path for water to get in once they've been wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry several times, then they just, the nails get tired of doing that. And remember, your skin suffers too from too much water. And if you think about it, you know, we're, we're advised to not take hot showers because why? The hot water strips away the oils and makes your skin feel really dry. So the body gave you the right answer, which is to like soften the skin by using body oil, but then we have all of our wonderful soaps and shampoos and everything. And just rinsing your hands can actually strip the oil. So that's before you even add soap, um, but that strips the oils. Have you ever just like rinsed your hands over and over and over? This happens to me a lot when I'm cooking dinner and if I'm constantly rinsing my hands and they just feel dry, I haven't even used soap. I, they just feel drier and pricklier. So your skin suffers too. And let's go back to the body gave us the answer. So we need, what is what is that answer? We want to help put that oil back into our nails and our skin. The key to all of this is hydration, hydration, hydration. And the body's given us that answer. You're going to hear me say it over and over and over. But if we're going to strip away the oils, we've got to put them back. So you want to hydrate with oil at least two times a day. Okay. Uh, that's like at the bare minimum, but you know what? You wash your hands a lot too. So then you need to be hydrating after you wash your hands and, um, and then do intensive hydration treatments as you need them. Uh, I do mini hydration treatments in between each manicure. Uh, if you're feeling extra dry, you can do mega hydration treatments for four to 12 hours. And those gloves help the oil penetrate faster because it traps in your body heat and warm oil penetrates faster into your uh, nails and your skin than without. Okay, so the key is to hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Can I say it more? Uh, you want to hydrate at least twice a day with oil. You hydrate your body internally with lots of water. That's important too, but from the outside to combat the damage that we're doing with soap and water, we need to hydrate with oil. And so you want to do that at least twice a day. That's at like the bare minimum. Okay. And you're definitely going to want to hydrate every time after you wash your hands and you will start to be able to feel once you know what uh, hydrated skin feels like, you can really tell when it's dry. And so you just start listening to your skin and listening to your nails. I know it sounds really crazy, but you'll know. Okay. 
So the other thing is when your hands are feeling extra dry or you just want to do extra pampering, do an intensive hydration treatment. I do a mini one in between each manicure for about an hour to two hours. Some people have really dry skin and they like to do their hydration treatment for four to 12 hours. It's all okay. Um, you One thing that you want to pay attention to is sweating. If you're sweating too much in the gloves, that can cause other problems. So we really don't want to sweat into the gloves. And I know sometimes it can be hard to tell whether you're sweating or whether it's just you're slippery because of the oil. But when you take the gloves off and if you've got pruny fingers, you've been sweating. So just start to pay attention to that and you'll know when you need to take the gloves off earlier. So I know you're getting really tired of hearing this, but it's so important to wear gloves whenever possible. Let's talk about gloves in the shower. The main reason for wearing gloves in the shower is to actually prevent contact with the soap. Okay, it's a little bit different than the hydration treatment. So we're protecting our nails and our skin from the drying effects of the water and soap. My process is, so it's very similar to the hydration treatment, except you add elastic bands, hair bands around your wrists. So you're going to slick up with a whole bunch of oil and lotion stick, put those gloves on, put an elastic band, either a very loose elastic rubber band, or I like hair bands better, um, and put that around the wrists, and then go take a shower. Now, I kind of take a shower a lot like a, the way the doctor gets ready to scrub in. I, I don't put my hands so that they're facing down a lot. Um, I'll stand in the shower with my arms crossed or something when I'm just enjoying the hot water. Uh, but you don't need to worry about the water getting into the gloves. That's okay because you think about it, you've uh, completely created this waterproof barrier um, inside of the gloves so the water won't penetrate through the oil and everything. Um, if the water gets in that's okay. And then we also want to avoid dry cracked skin. We need to replenish our body's natural oils after you wash your hands even after you take a shower um, any time that your skin is feeling dry and parched, it's screaming at you that it needs oil. And the really great thing now is, you know, when I'm saying wear gloves for everything, now we can wear our latex or nitrile gloves any time of the day and nobody's going to think we are weird because of needing to protect ourselves more from all of the different viruses that are happening in our world today. So it's kind of becoming a cultural norm to wear gloves, whether they're nice leather gloves or whether they're nitrile gloves. So wearing gloves in public is quickly becoming an everyday sight. And the more people that do it, the, the, the less you're thought of as odd. And here's the great thing. This is an awesome opportunity whenever we go out in public to one, not be touching things with our hands um, and getting dirty and also hydrating at the same time. It's a total win-win. 